Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking into our YouTube channel. So today we have our 2023 low profile roost deflector guide. We're gonna show you what we feel are the best options in this category. If you're shopping for a roost deflector, one that is mainly gonna be used underneath the jersey, minimalistic, not too bulky, these are gonna be some really good options. There's some great options available. The hard part is just deciding which one's gonna be best for you. So we'll just go through today. We'll talk about the options that we're gonna show you, talk about some of the unique differences between them to help you make that decision. I do wanna point out, as far as sizing goes, we know that's very important. You wanna get the size that's best for you. Use the sizing guides. Most of them are gonna have you take a measurement around your chest. But in any case, we have a fit guarantee. So if you get one, if you don't like how it fits, send it back to some brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange to make sure you get the size and the fit that's best for you. I've also written in quite a few of the options that we're gonna show you today, so I will give you my feedback as we go through and we talk about those. But the first one that we have is the Liat Airflex Roost Deflector. So Matt, our model today, he's about five foot 10, about 170 pounds. He has about a 40 inch chest. On this, he's wearing a size small medium. So you can refer to Matt as a sizing guide as we go throughout. But here's what I like about the Airflex. On this, you can see it is probably one of, if not the most low profile options that we're gonna show you today. It is very slim in the chest as well as the back. But what's cool though is that you're still CE level one for impacts in the front and the back. And the way they do that is with their Airflex gel. I will say a couple things to remember with the Airflex is that one, it's not gonna give as much coverage in the chest area as some of the other options, and here's why. They leave this part out up here on top so you don't have that impact gel because they wanna give good fitment with their neck brace, which leads me to another point. A common question I get is, hey, you know, will a neck brace or will this brand of neck brace work with this chest protector and vice versa? Best advice I can give is always try and match brands. If you have a Liat roost deflector or a protection jacket, get a Liat neck brace. If you already have a Liat neck brace, try and get something that's gonna be Liat branded. That's gonna give you the best compatibility. So it's something to remember. But with this, like I said, good coverage in the back. There's an insert on the top of the back that's removable to integrate with the neck brace. You got the brace on tabs up here on the shoulders. Last thing I will point out is that with the Airflex, with how low profile it is, one thing to note is that they do not have adjustability with the shoulder straps. So it's not gonna allow you to fine tune it as much as some of the other options. But again, if you're just shopping for one of the most low profile options that is still CE certified, the Airflex is one that I would definitely tell you to check out. All right, number two, we have the Fox Race Frame. Now, to clarify, there are three versions of the Race Frame from Fox. And the one that Matt is wearing right now is the Race Frame Impact SB, which stands for Softback. CED 3 and this is actually one that I own currently that I've been using, and this is probably, in my opinion, I'm gonna say probably the most comfortable roost deflector that I have worn to date. There's a couple that come really close, but I'll tell you why I like it so much. Is when you look at it, you've got good coverage in the front. Now it's CE certified level one for the chest as well as the back, but what makes this one so comfortable for me is that right here, you notice that you have all these segments where it's not just one solid piece of plastic in the front, and that just allows us to have a lot of flexibility, so it really just fits the shape of the body well, and it's very, very low profile. When you have this underneath a jersey, you can hardly tell that it's there. You've got some adjustability with the straps up here on the shoulders as well as the waist, but what's also unique about this, this one is that in the back, and this is where they get the name soft back, is that you just have the D3O back pad that is CE level one. And what's nice about that back pad is that when D3O heats up, so it gets your body heat on there, it becomes soft and malleable. It does a great job of absorbing impact, but it will fit the shape of your back really, really well. And again, that's why it's so dang low profile. My only complaint that I've had with this version is that that D3O back pad does get a little bit warm when it starts to heat up. So in hot conditions, you kind of feel like you might even kind of have like a heating pad on your back. But aside from that, it's been really good, super low profile. Like I said, there's other versions of this in the race frame, so be sure to check those out. But again, if you're looking at Fox specifically, the one that I would recommend that I've enjoyed the most would be the race frame softback version. All right, so next up, we have the Troy Lee Designs Rock Fight CE. Now, with the Rock Fight from Troy Lee, like Fox, there's three different versions that they have available with this, and I'll talk more about those here in just a moment. But what I like about the Rock Fight is that it's still nice and low profile, not as low profile, in my opinion, as that race frame from Fox, but you come down quite a bit in price. For this version right here, you're about $40 less than that race frame softback that we just showed you, which I think is gonna be a big appeal to a lot of riders. Now with this, 
Hard plastic coverage in the front. It's not going to be CE certified for impacts in the front. One thing that you do want to keep in mind, but it's nice and low profile. Not as low profile, in my opinion, as that race frame, but still, it's got a good fit to it. Now, with the back on this one, you've got the D3O back pad, and you also have a hard plastic protector over top of that. So... They do offer a flex version of the Rock Fight, which is similar to that softback from Fox we just showed you. But for riders that maybe like the idea of having hard plastic protection over top of that D3O, that's what you're going to get with the Rock Fight CE version. It's not going to be as low profile in the back with that plastic protector, but it's CE certified for impact. It's comfortable. So again, if you're shopping for something similar to that race frame, but you do come down a little bit in price, so this would be a great option. The only thing I would say really just to keep in mind is that not going to be CE certified for impact in the chest. All right, so next up we have the new A1 Pro from Alpine Stars. This is an improvement from the previous A1. This is new for 2023. In fact, I was at the launch of this, so I saw Eli Tomac, Chase Sexton, the Lawrence brothers all rocking this thing, Jason Anderson as well, and I really like this one. I would say that this and that Fox Race Frame Softback are the two that I like the most out of what we're showing you today. But here's the improvements. So what they did, they got their cell technology in the front and the back to help flow as much air as possible. What's nice though is that this comes into the same price as that rock fight, right about 150 bucks, but you are CE level one for impacts in the chest and also the back. Now, I, the back protector on this one isn't as large as you're gonna get with that rock fight, something to keep in mind, but Another big update too is that they're now using this actual 100% rubber on the sides here just to help it flex and fit the body shape just a little bit better. It's nice and low profile. I would say it's between that race frame softback and the rock fight that we showed you as far as how low profile it is. But overall, it's a really good option from Alpine Stars. Again, brand new from 2023. You've got the taps here on the shoulders if you're rocking the neck brace to help keep that down. Again, that's the A1 Pro from Alpine Stars. All right, last but not least, we have the A6 from Alpine Stars. So the A6, I think is gonna be a great option. If you looked at that A1 Pro or some of these other ones that we've shown you, and you think, you know what, I like those, but I just want a little bit more coverage, and you wanna bump up to a CE level two rating for impact protection, the A6 is probably gonna be my top pick for you. You can see with the chest protector here, a little bit more coverage than the A1 Pro. Again, CE level two for impacts, and the back protector is even larger than the A1 Pro. In fact, I'm gonna say it's the largest back protector that you've seen today, and that is also CE level two. It's not gonna be as low profile as that A1 Pro or some of the other options that we've shown you, but for how much coverage that you're getting, it's really not that bad. I actually, Alpine Star sent me one of these, and when I first saw it, I thought, ah, that's gonna be a little bit bulky. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. But once I put it on, I had it underneath my jersey, it really wasn't that bad. So they're using their cell technology with this. Again, you can, you can see you're getting direct airflow going through, so it's gonna ventilate well. Same strap and buckle design as that A1 Pro, but it's not gonna be CE rated, but you do have some padding here that wraps around that rib cage area. So again, offering a little bit more coverage there. And on the back pad, there is a removable puck up on top just to offer a little bit better fitment with the Alpine Stars neck brace. You got the tabs here on the shoulder, long adjustment straps. But another perk too with the A6 is that it does come with removable shoulder pads that are also CE level one for impact protection. So that's why I am saying if you want just a little bit more coverage than what we've been showing you, but something that's still gonna remain pretty low profile, then the A6 is definitely one that I would tell you to check out. And that does it. That is our low profile roost deflector buyer's guide. So hopefully you saw one option today that kind of sparked your curiosity that you liked. So the best advice I can give now is go watch the product spotlights where we go into even more detail with all of these. We talk about all the features, all the bells and whistles. So use those, read, write, or reviews. If you have more questions, again, you can leave those down below. You can also ask your questions on the product pages and you'll get answers from customers who have bought and are using these all these roost deflectors so it's a great way to get good information last thing i will say that i forgot to mention earlier is matt is also wearing the medium large in the a6 as always we ship for free over 75 bucks and to grab your next roost deflector today and to see all the other options we have you can click on the link in the description or just head to rockymontatvmc.com we have all major buyers guides for all the different categories for off-road so get subscribed hit that notification bell and be sure to check those out i'm chase we'll see you on the trails